Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I have a quick makeup, vegan makeup, natural deodorant video for you and I'll include a little pain relief favorite product at the end of the video so stick around. I just recently got some new makeup that's really really performs really well, mascara, pencil so I wanted to share this with you and also um, if you look at my videos from last year, I did a collaboration with Native Deodorant. So I have the new scents for this uh, season. They come out with new scents every quarter. Lychee Goji Berry. This is super, super fruity. If you are into sweet, fruity scents, this one is great. Uh, this is my favorite, Gardenia or uh, Orchid, because it, it's just this fresh... Fresh scent that reminds me of jasmine. I, I swear it smells like jasmine. So I guess gardenia does smell does have that scent. It's so fresh, so fresh. I I think this could be called clean or pure, and it's that smell of soapy jasmine. And the other one is fig and honey. You think that would be the one I would love because I'm a fig maniac. But this is the most mellow scent. It's just very, very soothing like honey. Anyways, those are the new scents. I included in my video from last year why you should definitely avoid deodorants that are um, aluminum based. Uh, bec uh, but I'll quickly cover it. You should definitely try uh, to uh, completely, completely avoid, if you can, aluminum-based deodorants, antiperspirants, uh, because um, the glands... Um, and the lymph nodes around uh, our armpits, they're really important to be kept in good condition. If you l lace your uh, body with aluminum-based products near your breast tissue, um, that can definitely increase your chances of, that's my opinion, of breast cancer. Um, meaning there is studies done on it, so you can research it. Uh, but for me, um, heavy metals is not something I would want to put in my body or lace on my body which goes directly into my bloodstream. I stopped aluminum based uh, products, uh, antiperspirants at, when I was 20. Literally I realized it and that was it. I would never touch it. Everything got thrown out and now I'm 39, just turned 39. So it's been a minute and I've survived without antiperspirants. So it's doable. Um, these ones really work because they're based on baking soda. Uh, and they also have added, which is very unique and genius, they've added acidophilus to it. So they're uh, improving your own bacterial flora. So you're growing better bacteria and not the smelly bacteria. So that's another reason why they work. Uh, the company is a US uh, based company for those of you who wants to who want to support local businesses. They're from San Francisco. So that's another added benefit. And we're going to get into the makeup. So I ran out of... Um, a call or pencil how do you call it i pencil so i ordered one from amazon and i'm so in love with it i just researched it i love black eye pencil i'll um pigmented eye pencil and this one um had such good reviews on amazon it's boo blue i want to say that's how you pronounce it boo blue and it's I think it was called the best vegan eye pencil with really good reviews and everybody said they can put it in their waterline with no irritation. The reason why I loved it is it has jojoba oil in it and castor oil. And I have had in the past mascaras and pencils that were based on castor oil and my eyelashes grew from them. You can apply a little bit of castor oil at night on your lashes and they will grow. But it's kind of nice when it's in your mascara because you anyway supply that and that's a, just kind of like a side effect of it. So this one is so pigmented and, and so mild. There is no synthetic anything in it. I love it. I'll link everything below. Uh, of what I'm talking about so that you can find it um, so the next thing I ran out of I ran out of everything basically the next thing I ran out of is my concealer under eye concealer so I basically use about four products each day uh, I use a pencil I use mascara I use under eye concealer because I don't sleep that well uh, basically I sleep in two hour segments with my baby waking me up every two hours because we're still breastfeeding 
and I use some form of a lipstick so that's about it that's all I use and sometimes I can use a little bit of highlighter or something and I'm including the one that I've been using um, but that's about it I'm pretty I'm a very very simple person <laughs> when it comes to makeup I love makeup but I'm simple so I got this this is a company I've used over the years I've never had this particular product of theirs it is La Vera you probably know it I've used so many uh, of their products in the past and this is their cover stick I think yes cover stick by organic vegan and um, it had marshmallow extract um, I bright maybe extra jojoba it just had really good herbs that brighten the area and deep puff and just they're good I assume this is good for blemishes as well it's really uh, it's not high coverage I have today I have quite a bit of circles and it kind of covered them okay but it really blends in like you're not wearing anything it's not something that people would know you're you have uh, cover stick because I personally don't like powders I don't like uh, foundation anything like this that I feel on my face and also I don't like things that you can see I'd rather I'd rather um, and also I love the natural uh, pig pigment of your the natural skin color of your face to kind of show through if you have uh, freckles, smalls, etc. I love that. So I, I just love natural skin. Uh, but if you have a little bit of something to cover, I just like a blemish or under eye circles, I use that. Uh, but other than this, you know, I want it to look, if that makes sense. I, mean, I just want it to look like natural skin, like not like perfect porcelain foundation or anything like that. So this one, I love it. My previous one was really, really uh, pigmented and heavy and I feel like I prefer this one because um, it's just very natural and it glides, in so, it glides so well. Here, I'll show you. There is a little bit of a lipstick here. So basically, that's the color. It's ivory, but it's really not ivory because I'm not that light. And then you can smooth it in and it's just okay yeah it's just it's just really light it it lights real nice for lip gloss i've been using this coconut lip plumber sometimes i just instead of a lipstick i would use this by dirty uh dirty works yes i use their night creams and they have really good night creams they don't test on animals and for um lip uh, for a highlighter this trio is amazing i think it's a it's I think it's just eye color 100% vegan uh, but I use it all around my face uh, I basically use the highlighter on my cheeks under my brow if if I feel like using something which is probably 10% of the time and here I'll dab it here so it opens up your eye that darker one I can use all, all over my lid and this um, this red one it's kind of reddish um, I I would use even on my lip or just here kind of as a as a highlight uh, as a contour blush type of thing so this one travels well because look how small it is and it's like all around face stuff if you want to just if you're gonna go somewhere and you want something more than I pencil and last thing this is a short video obviously last thing tear relief i feel that this deserves it uh, deserves a mention in a lot of my videos because if you have an injury arnica gel is great but this is so much more eff effective that if you live in the states and you can get it totally do it has a few other things besides arnica it has a few forms of arnica belladonna uh, Bacticia, Bellis, Perennis, etc. Calendula, Chamomile, Echinacea, all in uh, homeopathic uh, form, Rudograph, um, and a bunch of other things, Hypericum. It really, really acts fast. If you have an injury that you need to heal, I just. And it's one of those things that you should have 
just already in your cupboard because whenever you uh, whenever we like hit ourselves or bump into something it's usually an emergency thing that you need to apply it because this works as first aid the sooner you put it the faster your body will start healing and me as a yoga teacher and person that's active and i have a baby etc like i just end up using it quite a bit here and there if i if i injure myself or if my dog pulls me too hard or something like this and this one has been extremely effective uh, i keep repurchasing it this is probably my i don't know how many bottles i've had but i always keep it on hand uh, and the lipstick baby is waking up the lipstick uh that i'm right now using is kat von d lovecraft listed below it's so moisturizing so nice it doesn't get all crusty uh, I haven't had a lipstick probably ever. I, I used to only use either lip stain, lip gloss or pencil. I'm just not a lipstick person but I finally bought a lipstick and it's like a very natural it's a very natural uh, color and I feel like it kind of gives you a plump. It's just it's just a gorgeous lipstick and it's a vegan company Kat Von D. So if you're looking for a lipstick you can look at the other colors but this one is so pretty because it's so almost like a nude mascara i have had things from this company before not everything in their line is natural or vegan uh, but this is cruelty free they do have some vegan mascaras um this one is cruelty free paraben free um and um it is pretty good i wanted something that is um, in between the most natural ones that are basically like you didn't put any mascara on your eyelashes and the most like voluminous ones or the most like the ones that have the most pop i wanted something in between something that i can easily take off and something that has quite a bit of you know you can see it kind of you have a little bit of more definition or more volume or length etc this one is called mad lash by the balm uh, and it is good because it doesn't irritate my eyes it is easy to take off um my previous one was really really nice but it was impossible to take off i started fearing uh, like nighttime because i just ugh, was so difficult to take off but it was so beautiful better than sex by Too Faced probably the most kind of poppy vegan mascara but it's not for every day because I just don't want to I don't want to rub my eyes for this long to take it off now for taking it off I just use almond oil I got a jar like a glass jar uh, of almond oil that I love uh, I'll link the one I have below and it's so good because once you take your makeup off it leaves a film on your face of light almond oil which is amazing for nighttime um just kind of like a moisturizer i've noticed that it does help my skin feel a lot more moisturized like i don't have lines in the morning sometimes i have those I used to have those lines so even like towards the end of my 20s and now i have them when i smile but when i don't smile they seem to be way softer and it's because of my lumine creams nighttime creams that i've been using and my lumine ser serums check out my skincare videos i like always rave about lumine and the almond oil helps etc so that's the mascara i've i'm currently using and loving and I figured let me share because it's a cruelty free one and um, I think that's it yeah I think that's it I wanted to keep this short and sweet and I'll see you really soon namaste